you my son. How are you? I'm fine. So how is that? Oh, good temperature. As windy as always. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, Dad. Your son is back. Justin, just fine. Oh, so how was your trip? So beautiful. So beautiful. Ah, father. You and mom have been on my kids for a long time now. But you want me to settle down? Dad, I am ready to settle down now. You should know that. Uh, how would I know? I wouldn't know. You know what I want that. Father. Joanna is them. She's a very good girl. Are you restless? Am I restless? Oh, it's your father. He has had this day of sleep that has saved him when he took over this day. It's like he may treat it as the history. Since you have discovered someone's history. <laughs> Very funny. To be frank with you, this is the first time somebody is actually saying such thing about my father. That means I'm more sensitive than all your friends. 
Um, well, baby, I would like to show you some house here, right? I said you don't have any friendly neighbors. Meanwhile, we just arrived and I don't really have that energy to start driving around the town yet. You don't need to bother. I'll just take it out. Joy, this old visit can't you do this? Can't! It's no way! John, John, what, what exactly are you trying to do? How would I have known he's your son? You don't look alike. But, but, but when he told you his parents lives in Lagos, is he the only guy in Abuja whose parents lives in Lagos? John, you cannot marry my son. Sure, you have a child by me. And you are not a package in Abuja. Yet you want to marry my son? Chuck, did you tell my son that he is a single mother? He knows I'm a single mother. He knows you're a single mother. Did you tell him who the father of the boy is? You want me not to disclose the paternity of the child? Oh, you want me to disclose that now? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. So what are you saying? Hmm? Seems like you've not noticed that I am pregnant. And your son is responsible. So John? What you are telling me here now is that my son knows about my son. He knows about your son. But he does not know that my son is your son. John, what, what do you call this? What do you call this devilish coincidence? Is this karma at work or what? You have tried to act so smart by not showing any obvious emotions towards me. Let's keep it that way. After all, your son is willing to take your son as his son. Already, Jonathan calls him father. John, can you listen to yourself? How can my son claim his... I mean, how can my son claim my son to be his? How would you rather a stranger claims him? Or your son, not your blood? Juan, Jason, the man you now want to marry is my son. And you have a son by me, yet you want to go ahead with the relationship. Juan, what becomes of our relationship? What will be the relationship between my son, Jonathan? And just in some. What would they call each other? What would be the relationship between you and me? John. 
John, what will be the relationship between you and my son? What would Jonathan call Jesus? Brother? Half brother? Cousin? Or nephew? Just tell me, what exactly? How can I have two children without a benefit to my father? Is that a cause for war? You know what? I'm out of here. Joanne, you're walking out on me? Yes, yes, sir. I've seen your lady. You said her name is Joanne, right? Yes. Sir. How well do you know her? Well, uh, Joanne is um, a hard-working, homely lady, single mother. Single mother. And you want to marry a single mother? Dad. Is it not better to marry a single mother whom you are sure of being fetter than getting married to all these ladies that their womb has been destroyed because of so many abortions? But you're not even sure of them being fetter. And um did you bother to ask her who the father of the child is? That, that is even the cross. The father of the young man is dead. Chukwaj. Dead? Yes. As in Z E A D. Yes, Dad. Go for me. Dad, you should be happy for me. At least, that, that, that is even a plus to me. Tomorrow, nobody will come up tomorrow and start the custody of the young Jonathan. Jason, <laughs> mm. this is getting complicated. I think I would need more time to process it, Jason. Mm. I would need more time to process it. Is that a yes? Does that mean I should go on? 
That's it. It is what it is. I was pregnant. Eh? I wasn't feeling any any early morning symptoms. I wasn't even vomiting, even up I thought I had malaria. So I, I didn't know I was pregnant. Will you shut up? I will not take more. Ah! I don't take more. Why are you blaming me? I did not tell you to use condom and you refused. You say you don't enjoy it, condom. And you also vowed that if I have if I get pregnant, you take good care of me. So why are you doing like this? But I also told you that I'm married. You, you want to break my home? Don't you want to destroy me? What you are saying now will affect my standing in the society. Don't you, why are you doing this? Oh my God. I cannot be said to have a child out of wedlock. I cannot! If you knew all this, why didn't you just use condom? Why didn't you just just use condoms if you knew all this? All right, John, let's have a deal. No matter what it takes, I don't want to be exposed, and that would be much of a problem. You are in Abuja, I'm in Lagos, so. Keep your mouth shut. Joan, keep your mouth So who will I, who, who, who will I see the father of my child this when I when I put to bed? Anybody. Anybody. I mean, you can even say the father is dead. Joan, I'll give you money. But once. So calculate whatever you need from now to when you put to bed and start taking care of the baby. Calculate whatever you need, I will give you the money. And that is on the plan that you can start a business with the money. So that joining the baby will not be any problem with you. Calculate whatever you need, send me the amount, I will pay you. Joanna, I'm going to tell me, how much do you need? Crying will not solve any problem here. Tell me how much you need and I will give you. These days is really stretch. What is going on? What is the matter? What is wrong? Nothing. I just want to go to Abuja. I want to go back to Abuja, if possible, this evening. Why? Nothing. That's what I want. Just, just do what I want, please. By the way, you've been talking to your father. What did he say? Um. Yes. He was just um. Asking me how much I know you. Uh, I told him everything and um, he said he needed some time to, to think about it, to process it. Smart man. What did you say?
Let's have a truth. You don't want me to marry your son, even though I'm pregnant for him. I agree. But on what condition? When he returns from booking my flight back to Abuja, I will tell him the marriage is off. And I will tell him. I am happy to read that Jason went out. Please come outside now. We will agree. You don't have to say anything. John, how, how can you suggest that? How? Do you know that I have been nominated as a knight in the church? How can I drag my name in the mud? Do you know that such story can destroy my home? John, please, tell me something else. Nothing. We must bring a closure to that. That is my only condition. Okay. You know what? Marry him. Marry him and keep your mouth shut. Joan, marry my son and end this saga. No. I said no. Why? Is that not what you wanted? I don't want that anymore. I won't marry him. Then I will talk. You know, you've been playing me like a thing. Like a nothing. Right now, I don't want to marry your son anymore. I will tell him. Today you'll be fully unmasked, and I will take the walk. John, you can't do this. John, please, you can't. Please, John. I'm begging you, please. Not every problem seems to have a solution. If you doubt this, tell me the solution to the problem shown in this short movie you have just watched. Is there a solution anyways? Without apportioning blames, is there a way to solve this problem? Gentlemen and ladies, we have always tried to stir up your mind to think more deeply about the issues of life. Do you have a panacea? Please share it with us. 